Hi guys, Nintendo13, I'm coming at you with a wonderful new video. I just went and had my midnight pickup of the brand new Switch and some of the games that just came out and I'm very excited to show these to you. So, first of all, I uh, ended up getting a pre-order bonus that was for uh, pre-ordering Zelda Breath of the Wild. You got this awesome two-sided poster. And there's the other side of it. I don't really know which side I'm going to keep out. Probably this one. I'm assuming that one. But uh, I didn't even know there was a pre-order bonus for it. So that was a nice little addition. And then a really cool thing. So I'm standing in line waiting. And they started doing trivia questions for little prizes. And they only had one prize to give away, but they had several of them, like five or six. But they had asked the trivia question for uh, counting today, how many Link Amiibos are there? And my answer was eight, and I was correct. So as w for winning that, I ended up getting this awesome little two-sided postcard, basically. I don't know, a little artwork. The front, this side is just stunning. I love it. It's like metallic blue and I don't know. It's just really cool. And here's the other side of it. So I'm sure this is something that's pretty unique. And I don't know. I'm just very happy to have this a little bonus. So let's get on to, uh, you know, I'm really, really excited for the games. So Here's the first game that I got. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Tiny little cases. These are uh, about a little bigger than the PSP game cases. And a little thinner, I think, than the 3DS cases. But, uh, yeah, there's the front of it. And here's the back of it. Gives a lot of... A lot of information for such a small little package. But uh, I also got Super Bomberman R. And this was a last minute decision for me. I ended up taking some more stuff in there and trade credit. Got way too much for the stuff I took in. And this was pretty much free. And there's the back of that one. You can't argue about a Bomberman game. It's been a long time coming. So, one of the cool things about these, unlike the Wii U, where it has the little square that shows each individual game, you know, makes them unique. This one doesn't really have anything like that on the side art. But, down here on each one, it shows who made the game. And, that's pretty neat. I really can't wait until I see one that says Atlas. <laughs> but, it'll be a little bit. So yeah, I picked up these two as my starters, and I'm going to cut into my Zelda. I'm really excited to see this. I haven't I haven't seen the carts yet, other than uh, what they showed on early videos. Just tell them about the flavor. No, I'm not telling them about the flavor. I'm not going to find out the flavor. No, just the trivia part of it. Just talk no, about I'm it. I'm not tasting the rainbow. <laughs> Smells weird. Oh, man, that's really odd and slightly disappointing. Here's the package. There you go. How terrible is that? So, uh... Probably as terrible as the flavor. Yeah, I'm not going to eat it. No manual, but a nice little tiny DS-style manual holder. Um, where's my manual? If you're going to give me that. Oh, well. They got some nice two-sided art for it. It's pretty cool. The Wow, that that is wicked. There's the front of it. And there's the back. That is weird. Seems like a lot of space for the context to get ruined later on. I don't really know what to think about that. It All is right. what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, by the way, 
my uh background commentator <laughs> yeah the commentary is done by it. now um my cousin johnny i've talked about him before uh, oh, no. he's the one doing the filming of this so that i have my hands free and oh yay another one well, without a manual yeah. no it's got a built-in manual oh nice yeah it tells you exactly what you got to do in the game so i mean that's cool ish I'm still a little weirded out by the games. Huh. I I don't know. Can't wait to find out though. How it is. And here we got my pro controller. I needed this. I needed it. I had to have it. Now I really wanted a pro controller because I don't know exactly how my hands are gonna deal with the the other control. So I needed this as backup. I know I can hold a controller like this. So I'm gonna cut into it. You see, they give me a squished one. Oh, it's not perfect. I it's a sad box. I can't sell it on eBay now. <laughs> Aw. All right. And I obviously don't know how to cut. There we go. At least they made it difficult. There we go. Should What's, be done with that. Isn't there a song? This is the guitar silently weeps by Prince. This is the Prince. the controller box that silently weeps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's my empty box. And here's my controller, all nice and packaged up. Here's the cord for it. Not too bad. That's weird. It's got a totally different end on it than I expected. Oh, that's right. They said it's a USB-C cord or something. USC cord. I don't know. Anyway, it's all round. See that? There's no flat edge. But, unlike the Classic Mini, this cord is Nintendo branded. Yeah, really. That's oh, special. So here is the controller. Ooh, doggy. Oh, wow. It's like see through ish. Oh, that is so comfortable. Yeah, I got a feeling this is where I'm going to be spending most of my time is playing on this controller. There's the top of it. Go ahead and peel that off. It's all shiny. But I don't know if you can see. It's like uh, see-through on there. Mm. That is so cool. And the grips feel really nice. It's got a little bit of texture to it. Pretty awesome. And this feels really good. Yeah, I'm happy with this. All right. Well, let's get right down to the nitty-gritty now. I'm waiting to see it. And unless you watched a bunch of other people's videos, you're waiting to see it too. So, let's take a look at the Switch, shall we? All right. Thank you for your wonderful camera work, Johnny. Yay, I'm good. This, they actually gave me one in a really good box. Really nice, clean corners. I'm happy because you know I'm going to save it. Um, but there's not a lot that shows anything on here, really. Not like you'd expect. I mean, you'd think the back would be something special. Like a bunch of different games coming out or something, but no, I'm the just... The condition is worthy enough to pass down to your grandchildren. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, that is a lot more of a hot pink than I really thought the red would be. Oh, well. Opening it, I, I have expected to hear... <laughs> right? These things are just incredibly tiny. I mean, it's... I don't know. That's definitely wicked looking. Yeah, I mean, it actually... It, I could see myself playing a Mario Kart or something with this. That's not actually that bad. It, it's really surprising that it's that comfortable. It almost looks like it's, just, it's made for, like, baby hands. Yeah. Here's the right. This thing, it's not red. This thing is literally, like, a... A hunter safety orange almost. 
it's road work orange. Yeah. Welcome to Michigan. Right. Yeah. One of our seasons is road construction. Okay, so there is those. I will get back to those in a minute. Here is my system. Comes this handy dandy plastic bag. And this is about the size of a 3DS XL, I would say. Pretty close to it. Yeah. And. Or like one of the smaller uh, tablets, even. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's cool. That even clicks. There's a spot for the micro SD card right down on the bottom here, hidden away. And oh, I love the clicks to it. They said that's one of the selling points of the system. Here's all your area up here. Oh, there's no game card in the system. Bomber. Okay, we'll get back to that one as well. Go to the second layer. Now I have... Delving in deeper. Yeah. I have my power cord. No, that's the HDMI cord. Which is Nintendo branded. That's awesome. Yep, can't really see it through the package. No. But it is Nintendo branded. And here we have the power brick. Which I'm going to open because I'm going to need it soon anyway. You guys won't see that, but I will. Hmm. And uh, thankfully, here we go. Actual Nintendo Power Brick. Nope, nope. It's pretty decent size, but I don't know. It's a little big for as, you know, they talk about traveling with it. And once again, it's the same style of plug. It's that USB-C plug, I guess it's called. And the cord appears to be a little longer than other iterations. Uh, here is the one of the Joy... Uh, here, okay, here's both of the... The Joy-Con um, straps with the locking mechanism to go over it if you're playing with the, like a controller. So that's pretty neat. Ooh, it's actually got metal. Wow. Watch out, children. Yeah, don't cut yourself. <clears throat> All right, here is... What is this? Oh, this is the, the hand grip for the Joy-Cons. Pretty nifty. It's not, I mean, it's, it's small, but it's pretty comfortable. Seems a little bulky in there, but it's okay. I I don't know. I, I think it'll be fine. It doesn't feel that much different than the Pro Controller. We have the instructions and user guidelines and all that fun and stuff. And we are now going to read it all to you. Oh, God, no. <laughs> read it on your own time. And the biggest part of the whole box, this is the end of it, by the way. You can see there's nothing else in the box, but it's really nice how it's all broken down like that. Um, wrapped in bubble wrap and in a foam bag. I'm the one that gets to pop the bubble wrap. No. Here is the Nintendo Switch. That's the docking station. So... There's where everything fits in. And I can't really see in there. I don't have any light. Well, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Um, here's where the cord tucks away. Inside of here, oh, nice. hidden inside is all the spots for the AC adapter, the USB, and the HDMI out. And they just run through here so that the back of your system stays all clean looking. That's super cool. You don't get that with a lot of systems. Right. If I assume up here is the fan for it, which is cool because it's tucked away. And then over here is the USB slots. So, that is that. Now, I want to hear that click for myself. So, for the first time, I'm going to... Oh, Ooh. yay, that was it. That was not a very exciting click. I figured something like popping. Well, it clicked. At least I know it's attached. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. That It feels so much bigger than it was just having these little tiny Joy-Cons onto here. What's crazy is the blue is like really contrast dark 
real dark compared to the orange one. So it's like you got the dark side and the light side. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I thought this would be more of a baby blue and this would be more of a red. I was wrong. Um, it does feel really sturdy. Like there's no looseness to the Joy Cons once no they're creaking attached to it. or anything. No. So it's, it seems really solid. Yeah, really solid. It honestly feels like a Wii U if they made like a slim game pad. That's about what I figure. So, but it, it feels comfortable. Um, I don't know how it'll be playing a game, but everything is accessible and right together. And even with my limitations of my hand, I don't see that I'm going to have any problems whatsoever playing like this. So anyway, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys checking this out. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my little unboxing. I know I enjoyed doing it. And uh, and I enjoyed being here for it. Yeah, so that was his first time doing something like this. Yay! So, you guys still awesome. don't know what I look like. Right. Trust me, you don't want to know. Yeah, he's not even really here. He's a figment of my imagination. If, if, they, if the camera went on me, you would just see a big question mark where my face is. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I really appreciate you guys, and make sure you stay tuned. I got another really good pickup video coming. Um, just in case you're still watching this, I'm going to give you like a really, really huge spoiler as to something that I got this week. Found this at my local Volunteers of America. Wow. First one I've ever found in the wild. It's, so uh, this is a baby picture of him yes, actually. It's, it's a, my baby picture. Mm -hmm. Anyway, more about that in my video coming up maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But uh you guys have a wonderful night and thank you again for checking this out and I will see you soon. Bye.